In this installment of the Forecast Ski Test, we review the 2025 Atomic Backland 109. Well, my name is Mike Flood. I'm 51 years old. I live in Roslyn, BC, and I've got a hardware store called Roslyn Lumber. Five foot nine and 193 pounds. Well, I was nine years old when I started skiing, and I love skiing fast and flying through the air. So today I'm reviewing the Atomic Backland 109 in a 184 length. I really enjoyed how well it performed in the open backcountry type environment that we have here at Red. It just was uh, such a stable platform to cruise down. Any kind of cliff that I needed to just launch off of, didn't have to think twice, just kept going, solid landings, solid ability to carve out of a turn and just it was such a comfortable and stable platform. I was surprised about how supple and forgiving the tips were, especially for those few runs that I got onto a, you know, really icy mogul dust on crust situation that, you know, you wouldn't necessarily get in the backcountry. But, you know, heading down the, the cliff for the first morning warm up run, you know, they just really absorbed that, uh, you know, kind of uncomfortable, you know, formation of the, you know, the icy hard moguls with just a little bit of fresh snow on it. It was fantastic. Well, I thought the flex was really uh, ideal and the length for me was, you know, it, it just, I was able to concentrate on the, you know, the skiing without really thinking about the ski. And that's really, you know, for me, what, what I like to do. Off piste, it was very comfortable. I was able to cruise through the trees and the open glades and just, uh, you know, had a great time. On groomers, I could really set an edge and carve and it held well and it was fantastic. It was, uh, you know, a couple centimeters on a, on a really icy firm surface, but it was snowing. And by the end of the day, it was nice and deep. We probably had 15 centimeters through the day. So I was able to really track it through all those conditions. And I had a smile all day. Uh, so I would say that, you know, if you're advanced or expert and you like to, you know, get out where no one else is, this is the ski for you. Yeah. So if I were to compare this ski to a movie, it would be Legends of the Fall. And just because, you know, in Legends of the Fall, it's all about being, you know, in the open with very few people around. And when I think of skiing the backland, that's where I want to be. Built for spirited big mountain backcountry skiing, the Atomic Backland 109 offers better float and more touring efficiency in a lightweight lower impact construction. Its free tour profile uses more popular wood and less metal, fiberglass, and resin to create a harmonious flex pattern for lively performance. While the 109 millimeter waist combined with the lightweight Horizon 3D tip produces more float and deep snow, and a full ash wood inlay provides added security under the binding. A Poplar and Karuba ultralight wood core offers the ideal balance of low weight and optimum performance, while the Powder Rocker delivers a pronounced tip and tail with camber underfoot for effortless and playful maneuverability in powder, crud, and chop. By utilizing more lower carbon raw materials, the design reduces environmental waste and cuts CO2 equivalent emissions by 26% compared to the 2022 Backland 100. Inspired by Chris Rubens, it's the ideal balance of performance and weight that makes this the ultimate freeride touring ski. For more information on this ski, follow the link below this video, and be sure to like and subscribe to watch more reviews from the Forecast Ski Test.